I need to see your succulents. That's, that sounds not good. Hello, good morning. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and today, today I'm doing something that I've only done once on this channel, kind of. I'm doing a DIY. If you remember from the episode with the pineapple blooming tea on my Tea Time with Mary show, in the background I had this like little bucket of beautiful roses. Yeah, well they died. Hey, so I have this thing, I can't keep plants alive because I don't know. One big reason is that temperature control in my apartment is difficult. I remember when I first moved into this place, my boyfriend's mother sent us a peace lily, which is supposed to be the easiest damn plant to keep alive and it died in less than a month. <sighs> but I bought those Mother's Day roses with hope and then the death, they died. That's not good. So I've been meaning for a while to do a little project with them. I have been watching a lot of Mr. Kate lately here on YouTube. If you're not familiar with Mr. Kate, they have a bunch of different series. OMG, we bought a house. OMG, we're coming over where they collab with different YouTubers and give a room or two in their house a makeover. Mr. Kate is awesome. She's incredible incredibly inspiring. You should go check her out. I'll put her link in the description box below. Uh, and one of the videos in the room that she did, she put a plant in a mug. Yeah. So I was like, how do I make this work for me? I kill plants. Granted, I went with succulents today and I've never tried to keep a succulent alive, but maybe I actually could because yes, but I went with fake ones anyway. <laughs> so today I have potted three, that's six, three different fake succulent arrangements for you today. One in the little rose tin that I already had. I have a white mug for you and a gorgeous clear mug that I believe is actually from the dollar store. So all of these containers I already had in my house. Otherwise you can find things for really cheap. Going with something clear is just, I think it looks really classy. And I can't wait to show you how I made them. So let's hop to it. So here are all of my materials, the containers, the things to fill them with, and the plants themselves. So I took a trip to Michael's craft store to kind of fill in the holes of things that I didn't already have. I do know places like Target have stones and fake succulents, but I did look and there were a little bit too expensive for my budget. Altogether, everything cost less than $15 to make three of these. So that's pretty dope. And they look real cute. I wouldn't recommend using a mug that you really like to drink out of because if you do this, you, it's, I wouldn't put tea when there's like rocks and stuff in it. So yeah, I can't get over how cute they are. So first we move on to this little guy. This is the most exotic looking probably out of all of the ones. I found this little like hanging down hair guy and I thought, ooh, he'd be really cute in one where I'm gonna put multiple plants. You'll see here I got some bigger stones as well. Those are mostly just filler, so I'm not using expensive, prettier stuff. So first I filled the container with the larger stones just to take up some space. And I trimmed the little hair succulent thing. That sounds weird when I say it that way. Don't call it a hair succulent. My little, my little purple droopy guy. That doesn't sound good either. That guy, I trimmed it because it was a little bit long for this container. I did have this little like fuzzy rock thing that the succulents were stuck in. For this one, I decided to keep them in to add some volume. So I filled it with the big rocks first, white rocks on top, super duper cute. I moved the rocks around just to make sure that you could not see the base of the little plants. So that is my first little one. My next one I decided to make in an actual mug that I had in the house. This gorgeous white ceramic one I wanted to do something very minimalistic with. So to start, I removed this little guy from the little pot he came in. It was just styrofoam, it was pretty easy to remove. Then I took the larger stones left over from the first potted adventure. And once I used the rest of the big rocks, I filled the rest of the top with the gray colored sand. And by the way, you could use anything for this. You could use little stone bits like I did. They have a bunch of different colors. You could use beads. You could use pretty much anything you like. The world is your oyster. So I filled it up the rest of the way with the sand and then stuck the single little succulent 
on top. And oh my gosh, this is so adorable. This is kind of the freaking cutest thing. I love it so much. So for our glass container, this one is gonna look so fancy when we're done. I decided to take the little succulent pieces out of the fuzzy foam rock. I didn't think it would work well in a clear container like this. And if you are going to be layering like this in something that is visible, like through glass, I would suggest putting the smallest pieces that you have on the bottom. If you put the larger pieces on the bottom and pour the small pieces on top, the small pieces are just gonna sift in and you're not gonna have that clear layer divide. If that's not something y'all want, then like, cool. So, gray sand in the bottom, the rest of the white stones from the first project, and then I just stuck the little guys in there. And look how awesome this one looks. I am so proud of myself. And the color schemes work so well. I'm glad that I went with gray. It's so stunning with the white stones. And again, these stones are from the dollar store, so yeah. This was like my favorite looking succulent, so I wanted to save it for the clear one, and it's so nice. So yeah, that's it for our episode today. I hope you loved these. I love these. I mean, I've always been kind of a crafty person, but I'm so surprised when things come out like so cute. So if you make these, please, Tag them on Twitter, Instagram, all my stuff is right over here. Just tag me and let me see them because guys, these are so freaking cute. I'm so excited. That's it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on Tuesday. Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for watching another episode of More Mary. Just so you know, we are like four subscribers away from 200, so the vote is still open. If you don't know what the vote is, I'll put a link in the description below that links to another video that explains everything, because I'm sure you're all sick of me of saying the same thing over and over again for the last two weeks. But in the meantime, please subscribe. I have so much fun on this new show, More Mary. I do tea time with Barry every Tuesday. In this convenient setup, I put all my links right there. It's, it's pretty great. I hope you have a good day. Bye. Look, I'm in a picture frame. I have a tea mug and there's a tea mug. Inception. Whoa.